गाइस वेलकम बैक इफ यू न्यू हियर एंड इफ यू नेवर हर्ड ऑफ मी आर सीन मी बिफोर माय नेम इज स्मिता वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन टुडेस वीडियो आई विल बी रीक्रिएटिंग कैटरीना कैफ्स लुक फ्रॉम हर लेटेस्ट मूवी भारत इफ यू डोंट नो हु कैटरीना कैफ इज शी इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर बॉलीवुड एक्टर आई गॉट सो मेनी रिक्वेस्ट टू रीक्रिएट दिस पर्टिकुलर लुक इन हर ब्यूटीफुल पिंक साड़ी सो आई बी शोइंग यू बोथ हेयर एज वेल एज मेकअप सो इफ यू आर रेडी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड इफ यू न्यू हियर प्लीज टेक अ मोमेंट टू सब्सक्राइब आई पोस्ट न्यू वीडियोज एवरी ट्यूजडेज and thursdays unlike my other videos i'm going to start with my hair today because this is what works for this particular look i just washed my hair and now i'm just going to detangle my hair using this big teeth comb detangling comb whatever they call it i'm going to be showing you how to get those beautiful curls without using heat but just keep in mind that i have wavy hair so it's very easy to get those curls so this works if you have wavy hair or curly hair if you have super straight hair i would suggest using a curler Next you'll need a mousse. The one that I'm using is from L'Oreal. You don't need this particular one. You can use any mousse that you have or can find. I'm taking one big pump and I'm going to use it all over my hair. So you can easily find mousse in any of your local drug stores or beauty and hair care stores as well as online on Amazon and the link is down below in the description box. And once I've applied it all over my hair, I'm going to start scrunching my hair. So basically lifting my hair up and pressing it. And I'm going to continue to do this for a solid 5 to 10 minutes. So this is what will help form those curls and mousse is the one that keeps the curls together. So that's that. I'm going to let it sit and air dry while I finish up my makeup. Starting off with priming my face with the Wet n Wild Rose Primer Water. This is a prime, prep, and set water, so you can set your face with this as well. Her skin doesn't look overly glowy, but it looks very healthy. So I decided to go with the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in 745, and I'm going to be applying it with the Charlotte Cook Brush Number no. 140, which is a foundation brush. You can see why I like this foundation. It gives you that subtle glow. It gives you good coverage, but it's not over the top cakey or anything like that. It gives you a very natural finish. Also, applying with a brush gives you more coverage than applying with a sponge because the sponge tends to absorb a lot of the product. Other than foundation it doesn't seem like she has anything else over her face maybe a light concealer and a very light blush but keep in mind that her facial structure is completely different than mine so i need light contouring and for that i'm going to be using the skin deep lightweight stick foundation from clean color in natural tan anytime you need very light contouring just to add some structure to your face but you don't want it to look harsh or show too much use a foundation as opposed to a very thick concealer or a cream contour or a powder contour because foundations are easier to blend and they're very lightweight and they look more natural i'm going to blend everything out seamlessly using a small kabuki brush i have a link to my favorite brushes in the description box right below this video To conceal any uneven skin tone and to highlight the high planes of my face, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is in the shade Pure Beige. I'm blending everything out with a damp beauty sponge before I set the concealer with the Airspun Translucent Loose Powder. You can use any loose powder or translucent powder to set your concealer or your base. I'm not going to be setting the entire face today because I want it to look as natural as possible and not cakey. So I'm only going to set the areas where I use the concealer just so it doesn't crease. I'm going to be using a little bit extra powder underneath my eyes till I'm done with my eye makeup so in case there's any fallout it's easy to dust it off later. And let's check on the hair's progress. It's not completely dry, it's still damp, but you can see the curls forming. It's going to take its course. It's going to take its time. The hair has to completely dry, but the curls are definitely forming, so we will let it do its work and we will continue on with our makeup. 
Let's start with the brows. For that natural look that she has, I'm going to be using the Coastal Sense Brow Palette. This is a powder product. I'm going to be using this shade just to fill in the sparse areas. And I'm going to extend my brows at the end just a little bit because her brows are longer than mine. Her eye makeup was a classic smudged coal with a very well defined crease with a brown eyeshadow. So we will start with the Jordana Easy Liner in black. You can use any Kajal coal or you can use a gel liner to do this part. I'm going to be lining my waterline as well as my lash line with this. It doesn't have to be perfect because we'll be smudging it anyway. To smudge this, I'm going to be using a small pencil bullet brush. You can use a pencil brush, you can use a small shader brush, a definer brush, a small fluffy brush. Just make sure it's small enough. That way the smudge doesn't spread too much and it stays somewhere around your lash line. I made this darker by adding one more layer of the eye pencil. To define my crease now, I'm going to be using Motivation, which is basically a brown eyeshadow. You can use any brown eyeshadow. This is the Hip Dot Boss Palette. With a blending brush, I'm going to first define my outer corner as well as the crease. And then with a small definer brush, I'm going to soften the lower lash line. I'm going to deepen the outer corner just a little bit more because that's how her eye look is. And then I'm going to be curling my lashes before I apply mascara. This is the Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. I absolutely love this mascara. In fact, this is my current favorite. And while I was applying it, I ended up smudging it, but I didn't want to cut this part out because I want to show you how I rectify these mistakes. First, I'm going to take a damp sponge and I'm going to press gently in the area so it absorbs the excess product. Never rub it. That's when it'll spread. So press gently till the excess product is basically absorbed. And then I'm going to use a foundation with my finger, basically the foundation that I applied today, which is CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. I'm using a finger for good coverage. And then I'm going to set this with a press powder because press powders again give you great coverage and you're pretty much done now let's continue on with the mascara and finish up the eye makeup For a very light glow and hue of rosiness, I'm going to be using a very, 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 probably the lightest blush that I have in my stash. And this is Kiss Off. This is from the Urban Decay Sin Afterglow Palette. And for the very natural pink lip color that she has, I'm going to be using Spring Roll. This is from Colourpop. I'm going to blot out the excess using some tissue paper and then to make it look more natural and more matte, I'm going to dust some loose powder over this. And to set and seal everything, I'm going to be again using the Rose Primer and Setting Spray from Wet n Wild. It's been about four hours and yes, I take anywhere between four to six hours to tape a video depending on the kind of video it is. And my hair is almost completely dry and you can see the beautiful curls. I'm going to be side parting my hair because she has side partition. You can side part your hair, you can center part your hair, whatever you prefer. And my hair is almost completely dry. If it isn't, then you can also use a dryer to dry your hair.
I got my bindi and sari on and here is the final look. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below and if I like your comment as always I'm going to pin it. So make sure you leave a nice one and if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. For your convenience I'm listing all the products that I used in the description box right below this video. You'll also find my social media accounts so make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook for all the scoop. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.